Hi guys, uh, my name is Peter and today I'm going to introduce my new uh, prototype HHO generator. I saw a lot of people uh, try to make it, I mean like a home build uh, hydrogen generator and even sell it on eBay. And uh, when, 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 I, when I saw uh, what they're doing, I, I started asking myself if it's really worth it, I mean if it's, if it's really work and also how safe the system what they're selling it can be. And then I find that it, it, it's actually worth it to, to install it. You can save it um, maybe five, ten bucks on a gas tank. Yeah, it's depending how uh, how efficient it can run. But uh, if it's really safe, that's a, that another question. And uh, basically, I start work on my own own design. And uh, that's what I got almost six months later. Uh, that's what I come out with. Basically, it's. Uh, it looks pretty simple. Maybe it's not as, as a, it's a it's not good looking system, but it makes it portable, and I'm think it's pretty safe already. I got two switches. Uh, at the, I mean, it's a power. That's a coolant fan power. It's got coolant fan up front uh, to to cool down system. It has a temperature uh, gauge, uh, digital one, and. Uh, it's, it's pretty small, it's like maybe 12 inch long or 13 inch long, uh, 12 inch high, uh, 6 inch wide. Uh, it's probably around maybe 6-8 pounds or so. Uh, it has a nice handle. Uh, that's a power supply, I call power supply. It's a 70 amp uh, power supply with digital ampere meter. In that case you can see what's uh, current. It's got a coolant fan on, uh, up, up front. It's got a main switch, just for or just for in case if something get wrong. Here's the one switch. That's the main one. Here's got power switch also for uh, for a generator. Second switch is for uh, a coolant system. Here's a breaker, uh, uh, 30 amps. Uh, and uh, on the 10 amp low, uh, current uh, load, it's doing probably 30 to 35 percent efficient. Which it's it, it, it's plenty good. On my Nissan, uh, which which is it's, it's, it's right there, we're gonna install that system right now. It's well, I mean on a full tank on a highway, uh, it can do for 520, 550. Yeah, it depends how you drive it. And in town, uh, the best the best numbers I got are around for, for 420, 430, uh, 400 to 30 mile on a on a full tank, and the 20, uh, 21 gallon tank. The car that we installed, it's a 2006, uh, 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 it's a 2000 V6, uh, uh, 4 liter, uh, it, it, the factory specs is doing around uh, 14 to 19 mile per gallon. Uh, let me install it and then I can show you uh, a little bit more. Okay, now we did install it in, a, in this car. And basically, uh, got two wires and one rubber hood. It's going right under dark, which uh, I mean it's it's pretty good. I mean I'm feel pretty comfortable. The temperature gauge, the digital one, is going on the dashboard. Now I can see what's the temperature. It's uh, 117.5. Uh, and here's how how it looks. That power supply. It's got a big, nice uh, blue uh, readings. Uh, you can adjust, right now it's showing like 1.92 amp. You can adjust up to a uh, little bit shy. Right now it's 35, 37, 40, 45, uh, 50, 60, 62, uh, 62 amp. Which, believe me, it's more than, than you ever use it, you know. Uh, lately, I'm running on a 10 amp rate current, and like I said, on 30 amp, I, I mean on a 10 amp, I got probably 30 to 35 percent efficient. Yeah. Instead, uh, for example, instead for 14 mile in town, actually in, in town that car doing pretty good. In town, I got around 20, 22. You know, highway, I got around uh, 25, 27. Yeah, which its uh, factor is 19. I think. It's doing pretty good. If you keep it, if, if you keep it RPM, uh, 
not not over 2500 rpm 25 27 something like that i mean if you rev it up around three or four thousand i mean it's gonna take a lot of gas you know there's no doubt and i mean but if you if you, if you drive uh, uh, normally like, like usually you do you know it, it's doing pretty good and uh, with that power supply with temperature gauge i try to keep it everything under control and that case, I can see what's the temperature in a uh, cell and what's the uh, amperage rate. Why? Because when you when you install it, and when you when you adjust it, if you got manual adjustment or something, which you not really can see, after a couple hours driving time, the temperature starts start going uh, higher, and also it's gonna increase the load automatically. And if you if you don't have nothing to control it, how to control it? It can melt wires. Can short it, you can burn it your car. That's why I think those systems when they sell on the eBay, it's not safe. It's like it should be. You know, I'm not saying don't buy. I mean, if you want to save money, I mean, it's it's it's, it's a good and smart way to do. It. Like buy it and install it. But try to do it safe as possible to make sure it's not going to hurt anything and it's not going to burn your car. Now, I'm not saying my system is perfect. No, it's got some 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 bugs probably. It need to be tweaked and working out but like that i i'm, I'm pretty comfortable with, with 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 what my system i did it's located between those two seats i mean the passenger and second row and why why i did a portable one because like i said i live in alaska and uh, in winter time sometimes we got to story below and the, 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 when, when it's story below it can freeze it can freeze really bad and in that case, I mean, the system is not going to be usable anymore. And when, when, when I start work on a portable one, I, th I start thinking that way. I said, okay, I mean, it's going to be portable. It's going to be simple to put it in, put it out. I can carry it as a lunch box. And I mean, when you go to work, you, you carry it your lunch box, I mean, one way with you or, or another. I mean. And it, it, it's, it's pretty good. Anyway, if you got any questions or any concerns or any ideas, uh, just, uh, I mean, uh, posted some, some uh, comments on my video and I will appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much and bye.